Three versus no logic. Um, let's just. What do you say we hop into the draft here, gentlemen? All right. All right. Talk about that later. Yeah. Well, uh, absolutely. So, Queen of Pain, anti mage for Navi. Havost, feeling good. Last yeah. game was good performance. Going to try it again. They did ban the mag, though. Ooh. Yeah. Now, Night Stalker. this no logic lineup is pretty scary. We've Let's... seen Dark Seer and Night Stalker banned out a lot. First ban Night Stalker. I'm going to say every single game. Ten Most seconds. games. Pretty much, yeah. For the most part, yeah. he's been really heavily banned. Same with the Dark Seer. Like, we've seen Resolution for Empire. Just get two mangoes and just destroy people. Yeah. Reserve time. They can rendezvous early on. Night Stalker gets a little eye on shell first night. He's running exactly. around. It's an, who was it? Was it Alliance that played that? I'm pretty sure it was. It's pretty dirty. Yeah. It's actually filthy. I'm what? wondering if the the Night Stalker is going to be as effective as they want it to be, though. Because if you already see the Darks here, right? We're assuming that this is probably support, right? Yeah, position I mean, four. It, it could be like dual offlane as well. But then the Night Stalker still wouldn't farm. So. I'm not sold on it being crazy effective during the early game because a lot of the time when you're playing Night Stalker, you kind of want at least some kind of core position, like okay. off lane. Usually, what if you have an Iron Shell and you just have a few levels of the Hunter in the Night? And you, you run at people? You lit And the Bane Night Stalker dual off lane is actually gonna. That's the thing. Yeah. And then the. Where did they put the Darks here? I think it's just Darks here off lane. And then Night Stalker, Bane, roam, or they could put the Bane with Darks here, and then Night Stalker just... Is Night Stalker core, comp like, position one, is that not a thing? I mean, not I really a I thing. saw Loda do it a couple months ago. I, You really have to take over the game and Ten win in, like, 25 minutes or something. I mean, yeah. he just doesn't... It's kind of like putting Ogre mid, like we talked about earlier. You, you have a really big power spike, but... It goes down pretty quick. Yeah. Especially against like an AM Queen of Pain. Well, that silence is going to be so powerful against both Queen of Pain, Anti Mage, and Dazzle. Yeah, you're right. That's. It's amazing against all of them here. Pain is also very good against Anti Mage. You know, if you can catch him out with a from the fog with a Fiend's grip, it's allows you to do so much damage with such shadow Yeah, it's hard for Andy to oh. deal with. Oh. Another of the old ogre picks. Okay. All right. It is good. I wouldn't hate to see like a Beastmaster or something for Navi right now. I think Beastmaster is crazy good against Night Stalker. Just kind of Very... combat the vision? Is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you combat the vision, you also allow yourself like pretty much the best single target stun ulti. Like, what, four and a half seconds, I think, at level 16? And they already have Bane as well, so they only have two of the best. Yeah. No, I mean for Navi, not for. Oh, really? Not for no oh, yeah, Because okay. yeah. they don't have an offlaner yet for Navi. Or unless it's like Queen offlane. They could last pick Dendy's hero again, I suppose. Yeah. When I, when I saw the Shadow Fiend Bane, I got, my initial thought was, okay, Bane roams mid, gets a Nightmare, then triple raise. But then I, I was like, okay, Queen of Pain, she can live through that. So I think Queen of Pain is the better mid matchup in this case, just because of the Five seconds roaming remaining. potential of Bane yeah. solo. The Bane or whatever the other... No, it's it's nice Stalker Bane support. So yeah, Bane could probably just chill mid. Just cause Queen issues, so the SF can get off to it. They actually time. think... They're, they're, no logic game is pretty convinced that Dendy's hero hasn't come up yet. So. Yeah, they banned Invoker. It is possible to see Ogre Queen offlane and then Dazzle AM top and then Dendy's hero mid. Mm -hmm. But TA, mm -hmm. Mag, Invoker, and Razor are all banned. You know, Draskal, there is a puck still in the pool. Five seconds remaining. A moment of silence. <laughs> moment of silence so, for all fairy dragon fans all honesty, out there. In all honesty, I think the heroes are too tanky for Puck. Okay. Especially with the addition of LC. That's, Bane, that's tanky. Cool. Night Stalker, tanky. LC, Darkseer, tanky. Oh, it's going to be Wind Ranger, dude. Come on. Yeah. I think Wind Ranger is much more likely. Another amazing combo hero with Darkseer. Yes. You know, you surge into Jewel. Like, this is the one thing Legion struggles with early game. You know, getting in. Dude, even just vacuum into. Overwhelming, Overwhelming odds. odds. It's an echo slam. It's like boom. Echo. This is a Just really tanky it. team from No Logic, though. Yeah, it is. I feel like Wind Ranger could fit pretty nice. Even Bane is pretty beefy. In I'm okay. say, what did I say? What? It was too crazy. Oh, I don't believe so, in myself. Dendy, Quap, Timbersaw, Funic. And this is a great Timbersaw game. Okay, so the, the obvious reason why it's really good here is because LC Knight Stock are darks here, right? So you you just shred them, you just buzz them, give them the timber slaw. Come on, Shane, get it together. The timber slaw. Yeah. Shane's tilted. 
I was like, would they pick it? Full tilt poker over here. Yeah. Now, I will say that Timbersaw is very polarizing as a hero. If you're really good with Timbersaw, he seems like a legit hero. If you are not good with Timbersaw, he is just the worst shit ever. Because pretty much everything is a skill shot. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And you're throwing it up against Night Stalker, Surged Heroes. Jules. Like, LC runs really fast when he has... To be fair, though, he spot. is really weak against Disables, and they don't have that much. I mean, Bane could, like, yeah. clip him with a Nightmare. So, aside from just the strength stuff, it is a pretty decent game for Timbersaw. No, it is. It absolutely is a, a good game, but I'm saying, like, it's very dependent on a, how Funic himself can play the hero. Like, how familiar is he with this? How many games of Timbersaw has he played? Is he Ice Ice Ice? Well, let's take a look at the cosmetics, Draskal. Alright, he's got uh, mythical gear. He's, he's watched 38 Ice 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 games. All right, so, so he's, he's, he's done been his homework. practicing. He's pretty serious. If you if you have parts of the Ice 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 set, you you've got to be somewhat legit. All right. I have I'll, faith. I I'll put I'm, my faith in the cosmetics. Okay. I the reason I like this pick so much is they realize they're going dual lanes. So the one thing Timbersaw struggles with is early game getting you know like level three, level four because you can just zone them out straight away from level one. Yeah. All right. And so obviously they... all the strength heroes and stuff. So Night Stalker is headed to the off lane for now. Thirty seconds. Did your raw probably rotate up that way? Are they going to do a safe lane dark seer? Is that what it's looking like? It would appear so. Is NLG they going be aggro here? Anticipating some kind of aggro lane, I guess. No, I think they just leave. Or they want to aggro against the AM. That's the other option. You think it'll be Bane mid and just a dual off lane? No, they'll they leave Bane mid with Shadowfiend to help them get like one or two levels. You know, get the souls up and then they'll rotate them bottom. Mm -hmm. Or even okay. top, it doesn't matter. Yeah, the big difference in this game, obviously, outside of not having Dendi on the Magnus to be able to help Havos recover, is if Havos doesn't get a good start this game, I feel like NLG have a much better lineup for being able to actually hold the map control. Like, Night Stalker is great for it, getting a blink on the LC. You've got a mech carrier in the Dark Seer, which opens up Excalibur to go more aggressive items. Like, last game, I think he went like Aquila SNY or something like that. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you see that transition into a blink if you're snowballing really hard, but I think he will need BKB this game. So he didn't actually help with Bane at all. What do you think of that? I mean, I mean, I would be pretty sad if my Bane didn't help me in this game. Well, he could be in a world of hurt here as well. They've got a lane ward down. Ogs oh. McGee is just hiding behind the tower. He did not go for the Oove though. He went boots first, which is a little bit different. He needs more harass on the SF before he can go in. Oh no, this is it. This is they're the... going for it. Ignite, Quap doesn't have another dagger. That's first yes. blood, easy. All right, Snake is gonna club him down. Very nice. Yeah, that that the Bane actually just should have been there. Like, there's no other. Oh, there's no other play. I feel. All What's right. in the jungle. Mm -hmm. Snake's dying. Almost dying. Spartan you gonna get they him. Both have boots, right? Yeah. But Ogre is the same speed, and yeah, yeah, can't catch up after the void. So. Okay. He's fine. Oh. Oh no! You don't want to die. Oh. That. He's just trying to make him waste time, I guess. This is okay though. It's just like a, a no. This is actually like... fine because if he stays here, then that means he can't be mid. Which They're means playing chicken. Straight up one v one. Do they like, wave at each other? Are they just Look, he, at each other? he dropped the he dropped the tango. <laughs> He's not gonna let him go back for a while. <laughs> so they're gonna let him go back though. Yeah, there we go. All right. That That's time wasted for the ogre. They're both just puffing their chest, just like Are you going, Are you going, because I'm going. I guess the the thing you have to ask yourself is whose time is more valuable? Is the night stalker's time more valuable than the ogre? It feels kind of even. They're both big, beefy guys that want to move around and hurt, help the other lanes. Maybe it's slightly favored for the Night Stalker. I think you want a few levels in Hunter the Night. You want like at least level three before level uh, minute four. Yeah. You know, you want one level of silence just so you're able to maybe kill the so or rotate bottom to kill them both. All right, get your raw down bottom. It's interesting to see all the different LC builds that are going on in this patch. No press the attack in this lane. I think Obviously, this is actually the most common way to build it if you're yeah. like in a laning against a melee hero. Yeah, if you're laning against melee or the Whoa. enemy doesn't have a crazy Oops, high kill. Sorry, potential. I missed that one. Yeah. Yep. Probably same deal as before. Ogre rotating mid. Again, the Bane's nowhere to be found. They're committed to this aggro tri lane. Yo, I'm just saying, if Spartan was still standing by the tier two tower with Seneco, wouldn't have died. <laughs> that is a true statement, Draskal. Got him. Inversaw right, is doing a little bit of the ring around the rosy here. Yeah, he's having some issues here. Well, I don't know. I feel like the reactive armor is making this not too bad for him. He's chewing through tangos, but this and could be a lot worse. Wow. 
Wait, how did they actually kill him? Oh, he didn't hit level four. Okay. He didn't have the heal. Yeah. yeah. I mean, a point so sometimes you see like you see two builds one 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 or three zero one or two zero one excuse me and then you get the uh, first attack at level four but he was probably feeling confident that he wouldn't die I was feeling confident that he wouldn't die and then he died yeah interesting they rotated Bane bottom though realizing that Legion needs a bit of help I mean God help your Shadow Fiend yeah. he has seven CS yeah. does does I he mean... have any stacks no they warded us holy yep oh God this is blocked just a singleton. Blocked with an observer, no less. Same as last game, right? Yep. Well, uh, slightly different spot, but yeah, it's deeper in the camp now. All right, he just. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he shadow struck the catapult mid. There. Impressive. Oh, is that what it was? Oh, there it is. Like it's bleeding. Not oh, doing much damage. Big damage is coming out. So somebody brought up an interesting point the other day about Doom and Devour. Why mm -hmm. don't you just get the eighty percent magic resistance from devouring a catapult? Think about it. The dream. Oh my god. If it was actually a If passive, it was a thing? Yeah, that would be funny. That would be absurd. You'd just be a walking husker with scorched earth and... And pipe would probably stack, so you just have like... Hey, there you go. You'd have more than 100%. Nah, it doesn't scale flat, I don't think, right? It, it, well, it does an anti-mage, right? Does it? I'm pretty sure it does. Yeah, isn't it additive? The difference yeah. is there's only so many magic resistance items, so you can't get over a certain threshold. Because they don't stack, you can't get like two hoods, they don't stack. I'm pretty sure it's out of it. I don't know enough about math to dispute it. No, me neither. I don't know why I am. Whatever, Andrew, you're the one who did the, the highest level of math. You gotta help yeah. us. You that's calculus seven that's true. I got a C in calc too. I'm really a math genius. Oh god. You are <laughs> average. That's the only C I got in university was calc two. Hey, trick. Are you saying all the other grades were higher or lower? <laughs> they were all higher. Jesus, okay. dude. Uh, dude, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I got all. I got straight D's in business school, so I switched to esports. <laughs> not everybody. Jeez. That's why Mundo's not going to be great. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> oh my. All right, it's nighttime, and they found a Spartan. They've got a lot of slow here. Sonic Wave Dendi just clips him. Dude, yeah. this ogre. Like Sonico has been everywhere. Yeah. Two zero one. This guy's a beefcake. He just like seventy five percent kill contribution. That's insane. I mean, this like you know earlier when I said that just wasn't a classic Sineko hero. This is like classic Sineko style. It feels like super aggressive, super active. Two fights going on at once here. Nigla top. All right, he's gonna surge away. We're gonna check back down here because Dendi's in a world of hurt. He will fall in the one v three scenario. Meanwhile, up top. Nikwa, can they get him? Ring around the Rosie. Dazzle's got a poison touch in two seconds. He's gonna charge and run, and oh my gosh, this little guy, he's so elusive. Havos, does he have the damage? He doesn't have boots. Somebody he's get an oof. Alright, in comes Ogre. There's the ignite. Alright. Can work. the Kobolds do it? There we go. Well done, Havos. Okay. So they do shut down the Queen of Pain a little bit, but. What level is Dark, uh, Night Sucker? Level three. Okay, so he hasn't gone for the. He's going for more than the void. Okay. All right, one point in the hunter of the night. All right, so they found this ward. Took him two centuries, but they got it. Down bottom, Funic. They've rotated again. Getting dope that here. Did your eye? He's got the ult. This should be a winner, winner. Yeah, oh. Close, but they got it. That reactive armor, man. That was a lot. Interesting that he decided to go to the one place where he actually couldn't run away. Maybe did he have a stick? Uh, nope. Uh, no. Okay. No stick. No level He's probably six, trying to destroy the trees. Yeah, but he timber chained to the tree yeah, and then and walked into a dead end. It was, it was definitely interesting. Weird. So Navi do have a decent lead here, but it's starting to slip. NLG strike back. Shadow Fiend still has a lot of recovery to do. Unblocking this camp was definitely a right step, but he's still just sitting on Brown Boots bottle. Shadow Fiend is one of the fastest flash farmers though, so I'm assuming that he will get back on track sooner or later. And the other thing too is the LC is having a not bad time, you know, seven minutes in, he's already got a dual win under his belt. Nearly fifty last I mean he's the highest in C S, yeah. Yeah, he did die though that one time. He's still feeling pretty good. So lane rotations are plenty here. Now it's a dazzle timber saw bottom. Dendy's rotated to the jungle. Seneko's taken over mid. Night Stucker's taken over mid as well. Yeah. And Havost is just solo farming up top. Mm. Huh. All teams prioritizing their supports. Yeah. 
I like I, it though. Yeah, it's very I think of all this, like, Ogre getting level 6 is a pretty big deal. So a lot of Ogres don't actually land their ulti. So did the mana cost increase? Oh, yeah. Hmm. I think it's more levels into the... the burn. Ignite. Yeah, I, li I always favor the Ignite damage. Yeah. Like, it scales very well. You get more duration. How standard is it to skip the multicast? Like, 50-50, or is it much more common than that? Uh, I think it's like 50-50. Okay. It also depends on what the ogre's job is. Like... And if he has mana boots. Yeah, yeah, if he has mana boots. It's yeah. Great yeah. And in this game, it looks like... Maybe Soul Ring's not bad, actually, as well. Yeah, Soul Ring's good. Yeah, he's got That's 1k gold, so he could have the mana boots if he wants them. Up top, see some pings coming. They're going in on Daniqua. Big burst damage again. Dendi drops the hammer. It's another one up on the scoreboard. Yeah, six to two. Very nice. So is the sonic wave the noise that comes when you drop a hammer? I don't know. I feel like drop the hammer just works with like any kind of big bursty, like you know, like an RP okay, okay. or like a sonic wave or. No, uh, I don't know about sonic wave. That's not a hammer. That's not. It's hammer definitely either. not a hammer. Like when you drop the hammer, that's like. So what? What are your hammers? That's like sanity's Ham eclipse. Hammers like sanity's eclipse. That's, that's a good that, hammer. That's a hammer. Definitely a hammer. So, the, the Echo dunk. slam is a hammer. Echo slam. Yep. I, I can call it dunk. Jesus, one dumb name to another. That's yeah, fine though. Oh, Spartan middle lane. Oh, oh. Yep. He's in some trouble. Yeah, Daytime. Oh, oh, counter kill maybe? No. The way. Never mind. Jk over nine armor. Yeah. Kappa. What a hero. Oh. oh. He's going straight blink. That'd be pretty legit as well, actually. Straight blink ogre. That's interesting. I feel like it no, work. he can't be going blink. I feel like he at least oh. need the soul ring or something. I mean, there's, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. He can cast two spells. Sorry, three spells. I don't know. I need... Imagine blinking on top of a bane that's ulti. Oh, he bought an urn. Oh. We're all wrong. The dream. Yeah. Well, they don't. They don't have any sustain on their team, so. I mean, I think Urn Arcane is pretty standard when you don't have like a Dazzle or something like that. They have a Dazzle though. Yeah, but I mean like, if you didn't have a Dazzle... Oh, if they did, I see. Yeah. Okay, I, I get you now. God. It really is getting to be that hour. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever, it's fine. My gosh. Uh oh, Phonic Invisible. He's hunting a oh, Shadow he Fiend. does a lot of damage. Steve, you're in a world of hurt. He's waiting for the last one as well. Oh, oh yeah. He didn't get it. No. Here, okay. Oh, Dendi no. comes in. There we go. Nice little gank there. Easy setup with the Invis rune. Beautiful. Does Phonic have enough farm in this game, Mandy? Yeesh. Um, I think it's it's okay. I feel like it's recoverable. Yeah, Timber has the. the flash I think it's it's not really about the farm for him though, so much as it is the levels. Because you kind of want to go in, just throw out your damage, and then if you die, you die. I think. Okay. Like, it's, sure, the, it's... The early build zone isn't that important. Yeah, and... Or you it? can... I mean, it's good for snowballing purposes, but are you are you really the one who you're looking to to be, like, a core on the team? I think you kind of just wait for a duel to come out. You, like, burst the LC or something like that yeah. with your queen, and you just, like, okay, you want to duel somebody? I'm going to just chop you. That's the dream. Another Yule's first Queen of Pain. It's like the... Third, fourth one we've seen in today. This game it makes a lot of sense though. It's made it. sense in every game, I think. This one showing the versatility of the yeah. hero though. You know, against Night Stalker Silence, I think you need it. Also good to interrupt Bane. Not a bad way to catch the Dark Seer if he tries to yeah. surge away. Yeah. It stops Jewel as well. You can stop the Legion Commander attacking. Yeah. Good against everyone. Smoke on smoke action here, boys. Who's catching who? PSM gets the shallow grave off. Nicely played there. Dendi gets silenced. Now he's caught in the fiend script. He's got the ult. He wants to drop it, but the hammers, they're being quelled. He can't do it. Dazzle falls. They'll lose the ogre. Havos, he'll have to walk away. And it'll be NLG that take this one. It's like just a twofer. The hammers are being quelled. <laughs> How do you quell a hammer? None just, of that made sense. <laughs> you know, you just tuck it away and put it in the old belt. <laughs> I honestly have no idea what... Alright, it's okay though. You got me self-conscious. I wanted to say drop the hammer and I was like, wait, they're gonna flame me. So I should have just not nixed the hammer. Instead, I went full hammer and then... Drop the spoon! <laughs> he wants to drop the hammer, but it's you know turned into a spoon! Just, wait, there is no spoon! Know. I'm not judging you. Okay? No, I'm not judging you either. <laughs> I think it's good. Uh, <laughs> I'm just interested. 
I just want to impress you guys. It's just flavor. You know? <laughs> yeah, I think You're it's... just—it's a turn of phrase, you know. It doesn't have to be perfect. Oh my! I mean, I commentate with Lumi, and he's one of my favorite people. And that guy says some shit that I have never nobody, heard before nobody, in my life. Nobody knows what he says. <laughs> Like I think he gets really excited and then says something. He do he mixes up his words. I do that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Friends. I mean, everyone does. But he does it in a very unique, hysterical yeah. way. Yeah. You know, like I just transpose words. He just makes up phrases that you're like, didn't finish his dinner. What are you talking? But the thing I is, that one. the thing about Lumi is you always know what he meant to yeah, say. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So you always know. You're like, ah, yeah, okay, I get that. <laughs> yeah. I love Lumi. I really do. That's so funny. I'm DPM. Yeah, stealing my man. Oh boy. We'll get oh, him oh, Ogre, he's walking into the danger zone. It's nighttime, buddy. He's gonna be silenced. He's gonna be raised, and so tight, even the bro. big tanky ogre can't take the heat and punch. All right, I'm gonna cut the wave up top. Go for the tier two. Meanwhile, down bottom, Navi, get the tier one. All right. So it's at that point in the game right now where DLC has the threat of the blink dagger, but doesn't really have the damage on on her own to actually like win the fight. Yeah, so you're still right. very heavily reliant on like the rest of your team being there. Blade Mail is the most in this game, right? Andy? Uh, I think BKB Rush might be better. Really? I mean, you're against a lot of heavy bursts. That's true. Which means that if you get blown up by like two or three heroes, the Blade Mail only reflects marginal damage to the three heroes that go on you. Well, my logic was the only way you're gonna solo kick off the anti mage is with a Blade Mail. Yeah, but. That, that part is true. I, I do agree with that. But if you want the impact in the fight, I think BKB is far and away better. Do you think Timbersaw would be broken if Ags made his ult go through BKB? Yeah, yeah absolutely, yeah. yes. Okay. He does Just... an insane amount of damage. That is his only job outside As, of being... Okay, so he still has two chakrams? Oh, I don't know. And maybe if, if you he got had two of... chakrams and I went through BKB, I was thinking more just instead of two chakrams. I think with two chakrams, it's just ridiculous. It's bonkers. That, that's like... I don't know if it would be that bad, if it didn't slow. Okay, so the pass damage does 180 per application. So once you get hit and it goes back, it's 180 each way, right? At level 16. Mm -hmm. That means that both chakrams together do 720 damage. Just by touching you. Yeah. That's without any of the damage over time at all. <laughs> Alright, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's like a lot of damage. <laughs> I didn't quite do the math on that one. I didn't I didn't pull out my calculator. Alright, well, you know, just food for thought, guys. <laughs> Changes not to make to Dota. I still think the Waning Rift idea that Shane had was cool, though. That is... It would also add a, a unique utility to Puck, to be able to kind of position people. And then So you the idea was that Waning Rift... It's basically like a mini Invoker Deafening Blast. It's like Flame Break. It's like, you, you yeah, like Flame Break. Like flame flame break. break. Yeah. yeah, exactly. But around so, you. Which is a moy. Uh oh, duel up top of Oost. Oh, it's the Blade Mail. Shane with a good call. Nice. Shit, Andy. Got him. Sets up the kill on the Andy Mage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How poetic. That's a hashtag, got him. <laughs> no, that's good, though. Like, yeah. I, I, we I, talked I, about I agree, it, though, yeah. that BKB is also, like, really, really good against the team. Yeah. If you don't plan on 5 manning, though, Blade Mail's fine. I just, like, when I look at that team and I'm like, who do I duel? They have Grave and Stuns and Mini Burst, and I get scared. Yeah. And then I want to BKB. I like your scared voice. Oh, who do I duel? And he Dude, actually terrifying. Ph physically made his body smaller <laughs> while he was saying that. Oh. You guys didn't do that. He went you to, like, gotta go old into man the cripple. Position. Yeah. 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 <laughs> this is turning into a quite even game, though. They're both still number one, but not really by much. Navi's lost that lead they had, and LG have actually taken it back. Yeah, I kind of figured that it, it could be one of those games where Pavolus just goes like ham again, just gets insane amounts of farm, but... Late game though, it's very difficult to split push as anti-mage when you have a nice sucker, because you know, the, the blinks into the bushes don't work. Yeah. You, know, you can't blink into the bush in TP. He is going for the Agon in his build as well. Yeah. So scouting him out, trying to find him with the LC and the Night Stalker can be a thing. Like, they can even smoke just as the two of them. Yeah. And probably find Havos with relative ease. I mean, that's one thing about AM, is that the hero has been played for so long... That people that don't understand it. The, the farming patterns are very easy to decipher. Like, you see heroes on the map, you can pretty much just say, okay, I know where he is. And then you just run at him with darkness, and then if he doesn't get out of wherever area he's in, he gets blinked old and he dies. Yeah. Well, you got that big old fatty stack. Like, I think uh, Legion will always, always beat Anti-Mage in a duel if he doesn't have a BKB. Yeah. yeah. And I love his build, too. Like, this is the... Mm -hmm. This is the win duel build. Like, a lot of people still max press the attack, and I get it. 
Like the attack speed is very appealing, and also the health regen it scales like fairly well. So like each rank since the last five seconds, you get 50 more healing as oh. bottom lane. Excalibur well, is gonna get slain. Yeah, I, I was admiring. Okay, they wanna fight this even after the Shadow Fiend dies? Dude, they're going in. No fear gaming. He's got blink duel. Maybe they can grab PSM. Here we go. Blade mail on. No one to save him here. PSM's gonna fall. That'll be a winner going the way of LC. Now TP in from Havost. Oh, that was on to Seneco. Dendi wants to set up. He's already used the ultimate though to finish off Steve. The mech keeping things up, but uh oh, here comes Funic. Wall from the Darks here, they'll get the kill on the Queen of Pain, but now Milan on the run. Monica will be able to finish him off, get your raw taking big oh. damage, returns it though. The Blade Mail. Oh, the Blade Mail indeed. Night Stalker, meanwhile, he's diving tier threes. He finished off the Anti-Mage. Okay. Nice. Really Sweet. nice fight Jesus. from LG, That was actually. amazing. The, getting the Dazzle, that's straight away. They did makes... that without their Shadow So that was a 4v5 with no Shadow Fiend, and they traded two for four. They didn't have a Queen of Pain, will do though. True. I think that's a big part. It was like of four versus four point five, kind of. Yeah. But that's damage. That's thirty-eight damage. That's a level LLC. eleven ulti. Yeah. Oh, that feeling when you level up to level eleven on Digimon is so feels good. good. Really does. Because just the duration is just not long enough. Actually, the most satisfying thing is getting a duel that you know you're gonna win as soon as you cast it. Yeah. And you know that feeling, right? Like you duel them you and you're just so like. so much damage. Mm. And you're like, yeah. Yeah. Play mail that's... on. I've just recently started playing LC, and Did it you is Arcana? a super satisfying hero. I don't have the Arcana. The only Arcana I have is Techie. I actually want the Arcana. Oh. I don't have it either. I, I have it and counts the jewels you win. It's one of the better Arcanas, I think. Oh, definitely. It looks really cool. I like when I when I duel someone and win, I see that like 1,200 over it. I'm just like, oh yeah, just another number to me. All right, so now, <laughs> basically, I'm just at a point where we talked about Vanguard earlier. Yes. Now I need to just play Vanguard LC, that's it. I'm gonna ruin games for the next, like, 10 games. Huh? It's gonna it's actually just gonna be ruined, because it sounds horrible, but... Vanguard LC? I guess you don't... Okay, because die. I wanna play LC, and, and, you wanna and I wanna make Vanguards. Just trying to min-max your wants and needs? Yeah, and I, my team is literally just gonna flame the shit out of me now. <laughs> you should jungle as well. I re oh my jungle god, can you imagine jungle. the rage? <laughs> and what you do is... You just don't buy any items and wait for the ring of help. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Right, I didn't say I wanted to play horribly inefficient. I just said I wanted to buy a Vanguard. Uh oh. Navi move into Roche, but the jig is up. In come ML NLG. Spartan, he'll take some damage to get things started, but duel onto Seneco. Oh, he'll die. Silence onto PSM indeed. He's not going to be able to get off a shallow grave. They're going to chase him down. Maybe he graves himself. He does. TP home. Is there an interrupt? There is. Feeds yeah. Rip from downtown. He'll fall. Two for nil. Funnick stuck on the high ground here. Dendi, he'll TP away. Or blink away, rather. That's Little it. Bean stroke. Oh, man. I that was it. like the last second, too. That was clutch. That's actually really cool for Timber, because yeah. he can actually harass like that. Most heroes wouldn't be able to do that. But it's not going to be enough to stop them. Did you did he raw, man? I'm telling you. He's playing really well this he game. He is. Um, also, Looks like he's going BKB, too. Spartan is playing very, very well as well. Yeah. Getting clutch silences off at the, the right times. Closing in on his um, Ags as well. Yeah, only about a thousand off. It's pretty good. Oh, boy. I'm getting kind of worried actually that Navi, after that Aghanims comes out on the Night Stalker, they're going to choke. It is really going to be difficult to fight. Because, like you said, Shane, the LC pretty much wins the duel against AM at any stage in the game. Yeah. Like, it doesn't really matter. Unless, for whatever reason, the LC isn't getting, like, any damage. Like, maybe giving away damage instead, and the team fights are going well. Then the AM becomes kind of a hard to duel target, but... If at you the do rate, it, 21 yeah, minutes is good. At yeah. the rate that Dityra's going, he's gonna always be at that point where the AM is always worried about him, you know? Yeah, he's been and above the tower here. an AM player, can confirm. Wait, I thought he was gonna go in on PSM there. Spartan kind of went in deep as a distraction. You have a mech from? Night Stalker yeah. needs to be a little bit careful. They should have the mech available. He's got it. Oh, oh yeah, there it is. Close call. Okay, right. Spartan sweating a little bit. He'll be all right. They'll Space back out. Host, yep. Does he have it on the crew? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. No. All right. So Funix Bloodstone and just a blade of alacrity. All right. So oh, that Funix doesn't have a Bloodstone quite yet. He's gonna have it soon, though. He's gonna break his boots. Okay, so that's good news for Navi. Yeah, the Bloodstone is nice. It allows him to actually absorb damage in fights and stay around a little bit longer, that is for sure. Yeah. But I feel like Bloodstone is an item. Oh, there we go again, the Fiend's Grip. Avos oh, says, see you later, bro. Good luck, dude. Have fun. 
Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> That's brutal. It really is. There's no way you can do anything to, to stop it. That's though. like one of those moments when like you see that and you're just like, I know it was the right play for him to run, but god damn it, I thought we were a team. <laughs> just man avoid the break, the freaking That's team script at least. Thinking, yeah. yeah. That's true. Ah, you said though. I yeah, they were just chasing down with the Now a BKB for Excalibur. That has the ages. Oh, not for much long. Oh no, they just picked it up two minutes. Okay. So am I just Are they going high ground here? Thinking like, yep. Yeah, this is definitely a high ground push. Am I crazy for thinking that Bloodstone Timber is pretty much just a worse version of Bloodstone Storm? <laughs> I wouldn't say worse. I think they're both equally good. Uh, they're different, I mean, but... 15% stat loss They both want to do the okay. same thing, right? They're both mobile. Mobility. Yeah. They both just want to deal damage. Alright, Havost is farming in the enemy jungle as this goes on. I think Timbersaw can do damage from a distance where a storm kind of has to be really close to. Storm literally ranged here. Well, <laughs> is is it really a range? I was, I'm just messing with yeah. you. Yeah, you're right. You're definitely right. Um, yeah, maybe. But I just look at the Timber and I'm thinking, okay, he has Bloodstone. He can spam a lot of his spells during a team fight. They can fight. easily uh, counter push with this though. They can constantly spam. Yes. I mean, as you saw there, that push was quelled pretty quickly. Yeah. I think some it goes Agonim, actually. But... Or blade mail. Blade mail the counter to Legion's blade mail. Well, blade mail because you're you're gonna be in there. Yeah, like that's true. That is your job as timber is to go in and. What do you think of bots? Any bots to split push and farm? Try and as keep a the bloodstone lane. carrier, bots are super good. Yeah. I always feel that way. The only reason people don't buy them on storm is because yeah. you want the attack speed for overload procs. Cloak here. Wonder if that's gonna be a glimmer cape or you're just gonna keep it a casual cloak. Glimmer mm, is good on Timber. No, uh, for Bane, I think. Talking about Bane? Yeah, I was talking about Timber. No. He's got a cloak the Timber as well. slaw, man. Timber slaw. Mm, Glimmer's pretty good, actually. Um, well, there's the Agonims. And a gem at the exact same time. Yep. Both teams now with gems. Wait, how long is it for nope, the time? It's like. A while. Yeah, like two and a half minutes ish. Okay. And BKB on LC. Ooh, a little smoky. Okay. This is actually a terrifying timing. 10 second BKB, gem, Aghanim's Night Stalker with ulti up. Yeah. Yeah, this is yeah. like... Alright, they get a tier 1 tower, looks like they'll trade. No logic for the tier 2. Dyer's middle tower Dendi, invisible. Celebrant looks like he wants to lose the Aegis. He's feeling frisky. He just went from full HP to about half. Alright, yeah, whatever. How much time on the Aegis here? They've got like Weird. 25 seconds, so if they want to burn this thing, they better do it quick. It's my time. Yeah, in comes the darkness. Who isn't with them here? They're pinging out Dit Yara. Can we switch visions? I just like doing it with Windows Nice Talker. Alright, there's uh. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, look at that. Mm, it's just a bubble around him. So pretty much as soon as Sorry, this like, ability is cast, Navi can't leave base. Yep. Or they, if they do, they have to leave his five. So this one ward is gonna be a, a goner pretty soon. Like this is actually five man creep farming and Funnick just took the camp from Havos. Yeah, so Excalibur was trying to lose the Aegis Smith. So Havos yep. is literally flaming Funnick as they can't see anything. <laughs> I mean, it's very fitting. Havos is blindfolded here. Yeah. <laughs> Take off the blindfold, you <laughs> dude. <laughs> Oh, good call, Shane. BOTs? Never saw. Yeah, it's good. Alright. The hero actually has... You always sound so surprised. Well, because I can't tell when you're just throwing darts, because sometimes you do that just like... Now, hear okay. me out. Drow so... Ranger, you know? I'm like, okay, that's no, reasonable. No, but it, it makes sense. Yeah, that's true. When Shane says something and I agree... Really? You know, it's okay. <laughs> if Shane says something crazy and I'm like, okay, you're just weird. No, but it worked out <laughs> in my head. Like, I don't know. But the thing is, it has to work out in Funnick's head, not yours. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, a lot of your crazy ideas, I'm like, okay, I see how that could work. Yeah. But, you know, that doesn't always coincide with what, you know, how most is thinking. True. Mantis but it, it also has something to do with, like, the style of play that they want to adopt as well. Like, if yeah. they want to have two heroes who can simultaneously split push, like, Timber is not a bad split pusher in the sense that he clears waves quickly. Yeah. Like, he can push them out, right. but he can't actually hit buildings. That's his downside. So he can keep the lanes pushed, allow AM to have more space to farm, and potentially set up like smoke gangs by having better map control. But if he ever gets to a tier three, he's done. He can't do anything anymore. You're telling me his grappling hook doesn't do bonus damage to towers? I made a suggestion that Agonims should allow the pass through of the saw to deal damage to buildings. And I like that. And uh, they're not made of wood, Andy. It's a giant saw. They're 
They're literally stone. I mean, I think if you threw a saw at a stone building, it would still chip at it a it'll little bit. It'd break the saw, and it'd be less effective against trees. I said it should do, like, oh, I said it do like, half damage and only deal damage through the pass. So you couldn't leave it on the tower and, like, kill it, right? Yeah, it would only like deal, a... like, the initial okay, damage and okay. the retreat. I mean, I'm into it. I can see what you're saying. I mean, it would still be insane. Like, it'd be the so hero cool. would actually oh, be Oh, get your raw going for the duel. Oh, this is ambitious. And he's dead. Yep. Negative. Funnick says, thanks for the damage, sucker. 14, baby. Probably the least effective hero to have damage on. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> like, actually. <laughs> I'd prefer it on Io. I was gonna buy a Moonshard now and prove you wrong. <laughs> Moonshard crit. That was good stuff. Easy game. Well, probably the first Timbersaw carry on record with auto attacks. Nah, I did a battle for your Timbersaw, actually. Really? Probably not yeah, we, we lost. We <laughs> lost. I mean, they're doing some serious damage to this tier 3. Uh-oh, Milan's got a fiend grip on Funny. <laughs> Alright, Ogre McGee coming around the backside. Milan gonna find himself in a world of hurt. And he's just gonna run in to make space for his team. I like that. One for all, all for one. Witness him. Oh, no. Dark Seer. Whoa! What a player. They should have let him live. Yeah. That, that was that was pretty sick. That was, that was like the maximum I think distance that he could have vacuumed them as well. If he had a blinked after that, oh, the Craig as would have been real. Yeah. Yeah. they are doing good damage to the base. Though. All three of the tier threes are pretty low, actually. It's very interesting. That they choose a different tower every time. Yeah, I think it's just happenstance. You know, like sometimes they just you happen just, to be in that lane. lane. Yeah, 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 yeah. You just okay. Let's push. Let's hit this tower. Let's hit okay. this tower. And whatever. none of these have really been like big committed. Like, all right, we're gonna push high ground. It's kind of like, all right, let's right. poke, see what they do. Navi's a little slow to respond, so they yeah. kind of get more damage than I think they anticipate. That's true, yeah. Look at these good, radiant uh, wards as well. This could be big. No dark syrup means Navi oh, are able amazing. to secure Roshan. This could be the one thing they need to put the scales in their favor right now. They are gonna see Timbersaw top as yeah. Oh, look at that! This is a, it's still a strikingly even game. Yeah. They yeah, it, it's out, only though. seeming like NLG have the advantage because they have map control. I mean, look at their freaking wards for crying out loud! They yeah. just warded all three lanes. They're like, yeah. when you leave base, we're gonna see it. So if you try to smoke, unless they smoke <laughs> on their high ground, those wards spot pretty much every single smoke that's outside of their base that you would normally do. I do concur. Yeah, it's much of a point of die earlier. And <laughs> NLG moving into the Roche pit. Alright, well, Navi's nah, just gonna hand it over now. Dark Seer's up, they're not looking to fight here. I guess well, he gives us the SF, right? Yeah. yeah. I think so. so much for those tip scales. Yeah, I thought they were gonna go for it, but they were very scared. It's so hard against Nightstalkers. Yeah, it? yeah, it is. It is very hard. And it is nighttime as well. Speaking of Night Stalker, Spartan goes in onto Seneko, takes a fire blast to the face. Run! But his he team doesn't is have here. a TP, he he's so dead. Bro. Oh yeah, there's a gem. Uh, Quelling blade him. Glimmer cape, not gonna save you. Easy duel, that's yeah. easy money, baby. Angel, 6-6. Six, six. Nah, he uh... Six. Look at this, look at his damage and look at his armor. Oh my god. No. So you're saying he is the beast? Oh. No arcana, what a bummer. All of his, no even his damage is really weird. Like, all of his numbers... So, he's a robot devil, right? Yeah, exactly. One, two, oh, yes. binary into. Wait, wait what oh, language did we mind. say? He got, what? Uh... There's one language. We said there was a language that had binary with two. I think it's Italian binary or French binary. Yeah, almost binary. Binary, you know, that's it. Okay. I don't know about this. Yeah, like um, binaries, ones and zeros. Zero yeah, zone. no, I know about binary, but what does it have to do with Italian? You know, in French, they have two. Or French. Double. Really? Oh. I don't think Jesus. It would be the French, wouldn't it? <laughs> Dude, it's so pretentious. Can't even I like French normal people. binary. I don't know what you're talking about. I know, I haven't met a... Actually, a mean French person. I... They're all very chill. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Yeah. yeah, I don't know many French people. I've been to Paris before. It was okay. It's just expensive. That was my big complaint. A lot of places in Europe are expensive. Yeah. Sweden is expensive. Sweden is expensive. I can't believe how expensive Subway is here. Yeah. Dude. Eating out costs like twelve dollars. Oh, yeah. minimum. Yeah. Unless you go to like McDonald's. The restaurant in our hotel, the cheapest plate was like forty dollars. Yeah. How much is oh. the food to put on the plate? 
The trade? Okay, this is a bad trade, by the way. <laughs> okay, so pushing. This is not the trade. You do not have glyphs. Oh my this god. This is really scary. They're pretty slow to respond to this. Um, now the ult comes out from the Night Stalker. They got the tier two bottom, but it cost them a melee barracks at the very least. Okay, and well, NLG well, aren't done yet. Done. How did they let that happen? Okay, if they can get out of here without losing even the tier three, okay, that was awful. Uh, can was they get Havost as well? Where's Night Stalker? Uh, he's, he's coming down running the north. Back. He's running back. He's please. on the north side of the wall. He's also got almost 2,000 gold. What does he buy? Does he buy bots now? Um. Here we go. Or does he buy... Do they have Vlad's? I feel like Vlad's is really Vlad's good is them. a very good choice. Yeah. I always buy Vlad's and I suck when I I still can't believe that happened though. That was just a free lane of barracks. I don't know what that was about. I think maybe they're under the assumption that they still have a really hard time fighting into that. But at the same time, you still have high ground advantage, right? Like, mm. sure, the tier 3 is dead, but... Just that choke point allows the Queen of Pain and the Timber Saw to get so much more damage out when they yeah. start actually going in for the kills, right? So I feel like Navi could have easily defended that. Like, just by sheer spam. Like, they have Queen Scream, they can, the AM can auto the creep wave if he needs to. I mean, the Timber Saw alone now, he has Aginib, so that's double chakra arms just to yeah. clear out the creep wave, he poke him a little kills bit. A wave. Like, immediately it is dead. They had some tools there. Yeah, I agree. I think maybe they were expecting to have a little bit more time. Or maybe they didn't realize that their glyph was down. I don't know. That, that was like... Press the attack shadow fiends. Kind of a surprising amount of damage as well, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. It's all true. I mean, he's got a butterfly now. There shouldn't be too much that's surprising about his damage. Yeah. He's, he's hitting hard and he's hitting fast. There's... <laughs> but the nice thing about uh, the Timber having Aghanims is... Obviously, his push is going to be ten times better. His team fight damage is... Redonkulous. It is actually insane. Like, one of the highest damage dealing heroes in a fight. What happens if he gets Night Stalker Silence? Uh... Uh, Panic. I mean, look at this. He buys Lotus Orb next. Excalibur just goes up to the high ground. With the Aegis, he's fine. They and might blow damage. him up here. Alright. Oh, we damage. need to back him up, boys. He's got BKB. Unique was coming back in. Here we go. Wall vacuum on one. Excalibur channels the ultimate. Pops the BKB. They've still got the gem, Sineko in some trouble here, but Shallow Grave from the high ground. PSM will buy his friend some time, he'll try to TP out. Nope, somebody's got a Hex, that's the Darkseer. Chicken will interrupt it. Oh, there it is. That Dazzle Illusion doing what he can to get some vision to the high ground. And somewhere the Anti-Mage died. Oh, LC must have gotten a yeah, duel on. Yeah. Oh, okay. Alright, well. Suddenly, uh... This is starting to feel like game, boys. Flybacks. Okay, Flybacks coming out. Havos is gonna try to hold this nice ult from Dendi, connects on three, and Havos blows him up with the mana void. Got him. But it's not a hold, they lose another melee barracks here. And it costs them a buyback on their AM, so yeah, sure, they get a kill on the big core, but... They have a ton of wave clear, though. I would actually say that getting dual racks, like, with this particular type of team, you can keep the waves pushed with relative ease. Like, Timber and AM alone is enough of that. Alright. And the thing is, the Timber even has bots, so it's not like you're sacrificing a hero to only be on split push duty. Tresco, you if you had to put numbers on this game, what percent chance does Navi have to win? Because you're sounding pretty optimistic with your they can they can push it's... out two lanes of racks nonsense. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's 80-20 probably in okay. favor of NLG. I, I could I can get behind that. But... Sh Do you concur, Shane? You into the 80-20? No. I disagree. <laughs> you think it's more lopsided? Yeah, I think uh, when you have one lane of barracks, especially top lane, and you have Night Stalker, Legion Commander, Anti Mage is going to be forced to push out that lane most likely solo most of the time as well so that opens up so many opportunities for legion commander to to blink jewel him i'm giving him 20. all right i'll give him 15. 15. Okay. all right i don't know how we're gonna settle this here but i just like okay so in the past i would say stuff like this team is gonna have a really hard time winning and then we'll just say that i'm a negative commentator so now I just gotta be like, yeah, man, they can win, but it's not. They can hold it off, guys. Yeah. They've got the wave clear. This is it. Blues, I believe blues, in man. They do just, have the wave clear. Just me though. and my boy Blue. That's all I need. <laughs> We're gonna do it. I like that, Draskal. I like that you decided to be more positive. Yep. But I still think Navi are in big trouble. <laughs> Come on, man. We gotta rally behind. Because sometimes you just gotta be a realist. Like, this is what I'm talking about. You have to push out top. Okay, so when does it stop being realism and start being negative? Well, that's that's the art of commentary. How do I find my that? How do I, I find that that medium? Maybe maybe say they're in a bad place and then say how Navi can come back into it. Yeah, but I do that. Yeah, but well, then you do it. Oh, you're okay. doing great. Nice. Job. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> there we go. That. Now, that's the positivity we're looking for.
Fellas, really good job so far. Let's keep this up. <laughs> Let's keep it going, boys. Let's keep this energy. You can tell it's getting late. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Every 20 minutes into the cast, we just all tell us what we're doing good. Guys, we need to pause. We gotta do the high fives. <laughs> Start putting boost. freaking Top Gun music on. Okay. So Kenny Loggins. Abyssal Blade. Yeah. Is that the item or do you get Gibby? I think Ooh. Abyssal Blade is very solid, but you also run the risk of. Okay, so who do you Abyssal actually? Like, you wanna go on the SF, I guess, right? You Abyssal Night Stalker. No, he Kill doesn't. Night Stalker. He doesn't have buyback for four minutes, so. But he's if you go on a Night Stalker, something. you could just get Blink Duel. Oh, here we go. The initiation. Spartan goes in. They jump on one, Dendi, sheeped up, Fiend's grip, now vacuumed into the wall. PSM, he'll be dueled on the backside, Quap's already dead, the Dazzle falls as well. Two down, no buyback on the Dazzle. So Queen will have one. Not the fight that Navi were looking for. Yeah, definitely not. I wonder if so, someone actually goes Lincoln. Invisible Blade on the way up. Oh, did you raw, taking some damage, but returns a fair bit as well. They're just gonna land into this tower, that's the last blip for Navi. Well, this is last hurrah right here. Yeah. Here's the Abyssal Blade. Better make it count, Havost. He goes right in on Excalibur. Abyssal Blade rains from the skies. BKB. Excalibur now channels the ulti. Seneko just gets popped. Buyback from him now. Timber Saw drops the double Chakram. They'll be off the mark. The press the attack. Pretty good. Pretty good. Four v five. No buybacks available on the Dire. That's kind of why I was thinking he might not go Abyssal for that reason. That lone reason. Yeah, because the. So you blink Abyssal. Okay, so. Oh, duel. I think Punix in oh trouble my. here, boys. Yeah, oh, the, the damage. Monster. He just got destroyed. Now Havos comes in. This will be the final hurrah. He gets Milan. That's something. Decent ult from Dendi. They may get Dityra as well, but barracks are falling left and right. They'll finish off the Legion Commander, the rest of NLG, in full retreat mode here. Dendi trying to go out onto the Shadow Fiend, but Spartan says, no, that's my friend, sir. And now he's going to have to sacrifice himself. <laughs> The jukes to the trees. He's fine. He's fine. So Walk it off. It's night time. Take a lap, Spartan. You can do it. So so oh, on the other side. Nikla in some trouble. Havos. Oh, he lost vision. That's why. Okay. And out comes the little piggy. Blink into the trees. Nikla. What a spot. Oh, the oh my. They found him. Right, Any juke. Can he jive? He's got the TP. Oh, and he's locked in the no. bash. Oh my. What's going on up top? There's one barrack standing. It's oh, a range drag with 150 HP. Quick, everyone TP. Oh my God. Throw the saws at it. <laughs> <laughs> We're fine. Everything's fine. So, like, 1090 or... <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to be an optimist All right, let's and hear say 95.5. <laughs> okay. What? That is very optimistic. Okay, what, what's your 5%? Okay, so the 5%, right? Now hear me out. Yeah, yeah. Give it to the me The Dark Seer... Drops his hex. <laughs> Kill Because he has to use arcane boots. And then the hex dies. He loses all his mana regen because that's his only mana regeneration item. Or he gets to go back to base for like 10 minutes. He's oom. Oom. Right? He's oom for they're, 10 minutes. They're pushing, they're pushing high ground for the last set of racks. But they're real tight. Right. Actually, they don't even. Yeah, okay, they're, they're pretty much decided. You know what? It's Mumbai out there. Uh oh! Okay. Could this be it? Excalibur, he gets initiated on, but he pops the BKB, channels the Oat, Havost, he just tanks through it. LC with oh, a duel. Lord. Oh no, Funnick could be in some trouble again. Dendi's already thrown the hammers out left and right, but now they've lost their anti mage. BKB on Ditya will expire. Excalibur will go down, it'll cost Funnick his life. Navi showing a side of life here, but they're losing heroes pretty quick. Now Excalibur, he just buys back. They may go all in off the backside of this successful fight. Oh, Navi, a noble effort. Oh, but they're gonna lose Seneko, oh. maybe, just maybe? Ooh. Glimmer kit, magic resistance. Not bad. Not bad. Well, I think the creeps might do the dirty work for him here. Does he still uh, have his hex on him? They got this. Yeah, he actually confirmed did. has hex. He did not drop his hex. Okay. So my game plan is not really <laughs> not up to snuff. Look at this. Spartan. They want to go for the heroes. I like their style here. Big vacuum from Nikwa. Dendi into a piggy. Navi are gonna fight till the bitter end here, boys. It's Megas. I mean, in all honesty, this game really just feels like they drafted a much better lineup at dealing with AM. Yeah. Like, the Legion Clan. Hundred percent. Yeah. That's why I knew they played out. I was really confused really. Didn't pick it in the game before. Yeah, the timber saw pick. I feel like it didn't really work out. Like I can understand why they picked it. It looked great right on paper, but it just seemed like fun. I can never really was able to get ahead. But that's the problem, right? Like with timber saw, you kind of want somebody on the team who can actually hold people in place. And nice back wall here from Nikwa. Yeah. I think this is pretty much just the end of it. Yeah. Their base is dead. 
AM is mega dead. Yep, that's uh, that's quite a bit of damage. GG's gonna be called, and it will go 1-1. Nice. No logic gaming. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's it was a thing. it was a very good draft in my opinion from NLG. I actually felt like they had the better draft. Well, and what I was also... cool is seeing the the adaptation across the two games because yeah. Navi did similar kind of strat in both. They games. opened with the AM both games. Yeah. Like, was it third pick or second pick? Uh, I can't remember. I think it might have been third. It was third, I think, pick. in the first yeah. game. Yeah. Yeah. In the first game. But still relatively so, early in the series. Yeah, but in, this game, it's like... Rather. 